Hello everyone, welcome to Trail Cam 2 Part 1. The idea behind these videos is just to give uh, an idea of what it's like to drive around and, and walk around in the woods of northern Colorado. Um, we like to take our dogs when we go either fishing or hiking or in this case go to check the trail cameras or uh, do a little bit of shooting. They really enjoy the ride. They enjoy getting out into the woods uh, just as much as we do. Um, and they are much more relaxed when they go to the woods and I know I am much more relaxed when I go to the woods and I think everybody can kind of understand what I'm talking about when I say that. Um, and I built this little bed in the back of my truck to carry all of the, the gear that I bring when I go up into the woods and it makes a nice platform for the dogs. It's like a little storage, a little storage thing that I got off the internet that a bunch of other people had ideas for that I just kind of copied and, and made work for the back of my truck. Um, the scenery in northern Colorado is obviously really nice and it changes from one mile to the next. Uh, to get off the highway and, and go back up into the hills, you, you kind of have to go on a dirt road for about an hour, hour and a half, depending on where you go. Uh, everything's free range back there, as you can see. There's just there's cows everywhere and trees, and uh, the road's kept up, but not you know it gets worse and worse as you go forward. Um, but anyway, the uh, purpose of these videos, like I said, is to kind of just show the process of going back into the woods and just to help you guys understand or at least, you know, see what it's like to really get off the beaten path. Part two of the trail cam adventure. We're going to collect the problematic trail cam first. I'm just gonna bring it down and set it up in the house and see if it's getting things in the house a short distance when we walk by it or leave it in the backyard for the dogs or something. Otherwise, I'm going to call the company and see if they sell me in. Let's see if I can exchange it for a new one. And then we're going to probably do some shooting. I have a new steel target set up that I'm trying out. First time I will have shot my own steel. And then if we have time, we'll go check the other camera and either replace the batteries in the SD card or bring it down as well so that I can take it back up when Tony and I go and set it up in a new location. So a couple things here, the, um, the trail camera, I still don't really know what's going on. I have it set up in a couple different places. It works sometimes, it works not so well in other times. So I have to troubleshoot that and I, um, once I figure out what's gonna go on, I'll, I'll put that up into another video. The steel, also is going to be up in another video. Um, my wife and I are going to put up a series of shooting videos that are basically just for fun, but also kind of a, an experience of, of what we've gone through to set up the system, um, to get into shooting um, handguns and shotguns and rifles and all this kind of fun stuff back up in the woods. And um, I'll post those once again on our, on our channel, Carter Productions. But... Uh, the purpose of this video, once again, is to, to kind of get the backcountry view of setting trail cams, going and finding the cameras, and um, you know, just going through the fun of uh, seeing what wildlife is around, seeing what walks in front of the camera, that sort of thing. Tracy likes to be involved in everything, whether or not she needs to be or not. So I know it's only Colorado. I've done some hiking up in Idaho and Montana and Wyoming, and there's much more of a problem 
Um, as you can see here, it's one of the most, <laughs> obviously, most dangerous things in the woods right now. But uh, there are bears, uh, black bears, there are mountain lions, there are coyotes. Um, there are two-legged snakes, um, so I don't like to really go into the woods without um, at least my shotgun as a as a protection. Um, I'll bring bear spray sometimes, and I always have a sidearm on me whenever I go up. Um, but, you know, some people might say that it's a little bit overkill. Well, you know, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Plus, it gives me the weight of uh, for hunting season as I'm hiking around. Um, I'm also training, right? So I want to keep myself in, in uh, condition and um, anyone who ever, who's ever hiked around with a, a long gun on their shoulder knows that after a while it gets kind of heavy. So it's good to have that weight before uh, it's time for hunting season to start. I collected the faulty, or at least problematic, trail cam. It had 27 pictures and I got some deer. Um, maybe it was in the wrong place, like maybe it couldn't access some of the lower area because this is on a hill. But the other camera was getting stuff a fair ways away, like 25, 30, 40 yards sometimes. So it doesn't seem like that was it. So I'm gonna take it down to the house, set it up in the backyard, and see if it continues to skip over a bunch of pictures. But for now, it needs to come down anyway. So, onward. Yeah, here Gracie is impossible to take pictures of. Uh, as soon as you, she's looking cute, or as soon as she starts to do something that um, we might want to put on camera, or you know, take a take a record of, she turns her butt around or starts scratching her butt or something. It's she's just kind of funny. Um, and here you can see as we're walking out uh, through the little valley here. This is besides the first time when they get out of the truck, they kind of run around and. But for the most part, they stick right on my heels or um, Gracie in the back usually, and then Homer's usually around 20, 25 yards in front of me. So here's where the dogs are most of the time. Um, they're usually within 20 or 30 yards of me. Um, 
especially when we go through the woods. Um, Gracie was a little harder to train. Uh, she was kind of wild when she was a puppy, uh, but she's getting a little older now, so she wants to stick around. She gets tired a little faster than Homer does. Uh, but Homer, he's been really good. We adopted him when he was like three, four months old, and um, once he got the cum command down where it wasn't a it wasn't an issue, I started letting him off the leash, but then training him to um, stay close. And uh, if you notice, when he goes forward, he'll uh, always be looking behind him to kind of make sure that he, he's with us. He has got lost in the woods a couple times for, uh, I don't know, like 20, 30 minutes uh, because he went left and we went right because he wasn't paying attention. And in his uh, wiser years, he started to realize that he needs to pay attention a little bit more because as we're walking around in there, uh, we could go in any direction. So they're they're pretty good. This is pretty typical of the areas that I go into to hunt. Um, there's usually creeks around, so there's mooses everywhere. Uh, <laughs> um, but there's deer, elk, uh, both of which I'm hunting most of the time. And so there's usually these little flat valleys where the moose hang out and then you go up onto the ridge lines and into the saddles and into the timber where the deer and the elk are. Um, and it, there, there's just wildlife everywhere. Um, here is my favorite exercise regimen for the dogs. Uh, when we get out on these forest roads, I can't really go too fast. I'm, I'm usually going 10 or 15 at tops. And so the dogs just get to run in front of the truck. Um, they're, they've grown up around this, right? So they're, they're pretty good about staying away from the truck. Um, Homer likes to run out front and kind of see what he can do. And Gracie's a herding dog, so she just kind of sticks behind one or the, one or the other uh, back tire and switches from place to place. Success on the new gear. I have to update my steel targets a little bit. Uh, it was short term. I just wanted to make sure the uh, saddle horse was gonna work. Saw horse was gonna work for a stand. Worked fine. Now I need to get a new chain set up, and then I'm gonna go down and see if I can troubleshoot what's wrong with my trail camera. So I'll see you next time. Load up. a boy. Come on, Gracie. Come on. Gracie. Come on, Gracie. Come on. There you go. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next video.